the time I ruined my high school teacher's career and got her fired in the greatest way possible. If any of you have teachers you hate, this is the story for you. Welcome to another episode of Reddit Chronicles. Today's subreddit, Pro Revenge. This story is widely known amongst my family and is constantly brought up and joked upon in my group of friends, even years later. A buddy of mine suggested that this is the perfect place to make it public. So let's get into this. Backstory. I was a senior in high school at the time, and I had never been the brightest student. I was a solid C student, but I'd never received a detention or any kind of bad student record. This is important because to this day, I still have no idea why the teacher treated me this way. The teacher, who we will name Mrs. Frank, had been a teacher there for more than a decade and was widely known for being a petty, heartless femdog who the administrators saw as a golden child. Mrs. Frank taught algebra, which is my worst subject, so naturally I had issues understanding the lessons and would ask questions frequently. To some of these questions are easily answered, but to me, it was rocket science. Usually when someone asks a dumb question, no one should address it. However, in Miss Frank's case, she would belittle me in front of everyone by saying things such as, And here comes the slow boy again. Wow, surprise, surprise, you don't understand it again. Really? We have to go extra slow for you today, don't we? Etc, etc. I tried going to the administration about it before, but again, she was considered the golden child. They would send someone in to examine her during class, she would act respectful and normal for one day, and go back to being a femdog the next. This goes on for about half the year until I had enough. I went to the local radio shack, bought a recorder, and secretly recorded every insult she would throw at me. I would sometimes instigate to make up for lost time. Go ahead, feed the fire. Fast forward to the end of the year, and I'm sitting in Miss Frank's class when I ask a question. Her response, and I quote, because it's burned into my brain, was, I've been teaching here for over 10 years, and that was the single dumbest question I've ever heard come from anyone's mouth. She continued the lesson without answering. I calmly stood up, packed up my stuff, and headed to the nurse's office to dismiss myself from school. We were allowed to dismiss ourselves if we were 18. I went home, compiled all of the brutal tapes into one glorious masterpiece, and headed back the next day to show the administrators. I sat down with the principal, and we listened to a couple of the insults before he stopped me. He wanted more witnesses present, as well as Mrs. Frank. He told me we would meet the next day, where I could show him, and the rest of the administrators, the full tape. I walk into school the next morning, being the most nervous I've been for anything. I was called down to the office, where I met some local board directors, the local school police officer, the principal, the vice principal, and Mrs. Frank. What follows was some of the greatest minutes of my life. I watched as the administrators went from fed up with being at another useless meeting to furious and speechless with some of them keeping their mouths open for the duration of the tape. I also watched Mrs. Frank go from confident and stuck up to her realizing that she had just effed up beyond repair. She was practically publicly roasting herself in front of the most important people from the district. The tape ended and without hesitation, the administrators looked around in astonishment, and the principal turns to me and says, I think we have heard everything we need to. Thank you. And I was quietly dismissed from the room. The final time I saw Mrs. Frank was leaving the room. I looked back, and we made eye contact through her tear-filled eyes, and I gave the biggest, most evil smile. I returned to class the next week, and Mrs. Frank was nowhere to be found. The story spread quickly throughout the school and I was seen as a saint. I had successfully gotten her fired and made it almost impossible for Mrs. Frank to return to her teaching career, as well as cut off most of her connections that she had with other teachers at the school. I had ruined her financially because no school district in the area would hire this walking piece of garbage. If you're reading this, Mrs. Frank, I'd like to take this moment to tell you to go F yourself. Edit 1. Should have cleared this up in the story, however, I didn't want to go into that much detail about the process. Yes, this was perfectly legal to do, and my parents and I did our research to make sure we weren't breaking any kind of law. In my state, 
you can record someone in their place of business without both parties' consent. Edit 2. Wow, thank you for the gold, kind strangers. I believe this post became popular because almost everyone can relate to having a horrible teacher at one point in life. I'm glad I could give some satisfaction to some of you who have had similar situations. Thank you all for the great feedback. Edit 3. I want to address some of the frequently asked questions. I regret sharing the dumbed down version because I left out the amount of crap I put my parents through during all this. Tons of meetings and phone calls that would have been made the story a lot longer and I didn't think anyone would enjoy reading it. 1. I do not still have the tapes. It was in the administration's best interest to keep them in case she sued for false termination, and it would have gotten out of hand if the tapes spread and gave a bad reputation toward the district. Even if I kept the tapes, this all took place over 15 years ago, and there's no way in hell I would be able to find them. Yes, I took algebra as a senior because again, I wasn't the greatest student to walk those halls, and throughout all my years of school, I had tutoring. I'm sorry I'm not a genius. 3. I don't remember what question I asked that pushed me over the limit that day. Thank you for all the feedback, and I love reading each and every one's stories that have had similar teachers and revenge. Brilliant. So now you know everyone, if one of your teachers is verbally abusive, get a recording device and record them. Then, well, what you do with that is up to you. Group attempted to cut me out after I did about 60% of the work. They failed. This happened about 12 years ago while I was studying aeronautical engineering. Due to some money-grubbing legislation tactics, most who have gone to college know about the unnecessary courses that are tacked onto the degree in order to graduate. One of those courses for my degree was a business class. Seriously, you'd think these guys would understand that most engineers don't do the business side of things. Thankfully, we had a teacher who was understanding of the fact that many of us in the class were bored out of our minds. I'll admit to having always been a geek slash nerd who loved making good grades. If I don't understand something, I run at it hard to try and change that. This class stumped me for quite some time, and then a nightmare of a project was announced, one worth 50% of our grades. The school was a small one, the class a little more than 30 people, and I was assigned to work with three people I knew from other classes, we had problems straight away. Two of the people remembered me from a calculus class that they barely passed as the person who sailed easily through and decided to dump their portion of the work on me straight away, knowing I wouldn't allow myself to fail. They were right. At first, my other group member tried to pick up the slack as well, pulling hard to do a difficult project in a subject we barely understood. I'll admit, she was a trooper. Unfortunately, she was also somewhat easily manipulated and our two slacking group members began applying pressure during the semester for her to take the work and allow them to present it. The day of the project finally comes and I'm sick as a dog, pretty much quarantined in the clinic due to bronchitis. I managed to send a message to the teacher. The two slackers managed to wrangle the presentation from the girl who worked with me and presented it to the class, declaring that they had done all the work and I was skipping class because they had told me that they were going to tell the teacher what happened. My initial grade was an F. I was beyond pissed until I realized something important. Part of the project involved a written report, of which I held the only copy since I was the one to type it up. Cue the revenge. Privately, I went to the teacher with my notes and the report in order to get the grade I earned and to get him in on the plot. He agreed since it seemed fun and he planned to fail them anyway for academic dishonesty. Publicly, there was no report. The classmates that had attempted to take all the credit began to approach me, first demanding the report. Most of the time, my response was, but I didn't do any work in a sickly sweet voice. Next, they attempted to act all buddy-buddy, trying to convince me that it had all been a joke, and promising me that they'd tell the professor that I had done some work, giving me some credit so that I had the possibility to pass. This was met with stony silence on most occasions, before I told them that I'd rather fail than let them pass. Things escalated after that to include the door of my dorm room being wrapped on at odd hours of the night, shoving, and them stealing my backpack and notebooks in order to find the report themselves. One of them even asked my roommate to let them search for a report I had written and forgotten for our group. Didn't have her as my roommate the following semester. Things finally came to a head on the last week of classes. I had held out on them for a month, 
not telling any of my groupmates what I had done, and enough time had elapsed that even if they were to turn in the report now, it would have been so late that they'd still have failed. They hadn't even attempted to do the report themselves, and the girl who had worked with me was in hysterics over the real possibility of failing the class. It was what the teacher and I had been waiting for, and he finally decided to return the reports. The two slackers glared daggers at me as the teacher returned the report of every other group in the class before stopping in front of them. He was holding what looked to be one extra report, and they were immediately looking hopeful. He set a single sheet of paper on one of their desks before moving to the desk of the girl who had worked along with me and set the report on her desk. I had to dock some points for dishonesty, but you and your partner did decently, he stated before moving on. My partner realized what I had done. We only got an 82 on our project, but it was far better than the zero that our X group mates received. I had been carefully documenting the harassment that the two slackers had put me through and ensured several witnesses saw some of what they did. Two days after being informed that they were failing, the pair had a new problem. I gave the evidence to the administration of our school, and the teacher reported the academic dishonesty. The administration did a bit more digging and found that the pair had been making trouble for some time, and a number of students reported similar problems of having their work stolen. The slackers were expelled. So it looks like the moral of this story is simple. If you're ever in a group project and you're doing more than your fair share of the work, talk to your instructor about it privately. And if your group members harass you or give you crap, document it, get some evidence, and hand it over to the administrators. Because if they're doing that to you, chances are they've done that to other people too. Hope you guys enjoyed today's r slash pro revenge. Let me know in the comments which revenge story you think was most pro. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe for more of the same. I'll see you guys in the next video.